Today I'm going to show you how to turn any computer with a USB port into an external monitor. So this is my current setup for tabletop shooting. I've got my desktop right here with a camcorder just suspended right out of camera range, pointed straight down so that it can show whatever I'm doing, whether I'm building something or doing product close-ups or whatever. The camcorder sees everything except this monitor here, which is what I'm looking at. So when I'm doing product close-ups, let's say I can comment about the product and flip it all around and I can actually see what it's going to look like on camera because it's right there in front of me. It's huge and I can see everything that I'm doing without having to look up at the camcorder monitor for reference. It's just really convenient. Same thing if I'm making something, I'm building something down here and if I need reference to see where everything is framed, I just have to glance up and I can see it because it's massive and it's right there in front of my face. Now this is what I use for tabletop shooting, but of course you could use this in a studio. Uh, or you could use this in the field, let's say, with a laptop, whatever. Uh, how I'm doing this is really very simple. I'm just taking the composite output from the camcorder and running it into an old SD capture card, the Video 2 PC from ION. It's got a composite input, an S-Video input, and two audio inputs. And that box then goes into my computer via USB 2.0. It's then displayed on this monitor right here with the Bandicam software, which is video capture software. The cool thing is, is that you can use this whole setup without a very powerful computer because you're only using it to display the image coming out of the capture card and not record the image. And that's very important because Bandicam, for example, will actually charge you if you want to remove the watermark off your recorded videos using uh, this specific hardware. But if you don't need to record anything, the software is free because all you're doing is using it to monitor the things coming out of the capture card and not record anything coming through it. Now, my situation is a little bit unique because I'm shooting straight down, which means that actually the camcorder is seeing all of this upside down. So if I want to see an accurate representation of what I'm doing, I have to flip the image both horizontally and vertically because that's what I have to do in post to make it look like what I'm seeing here. And you can do that easily on a PC by using Control Alt and the arrow keys to flip the whole screen. Or in my case, because I wasn't able to do that for some reason, I installed the free iRotate software, which does the exact same thing. The Video 2 PC is a great little capture box. Just remember to get the Mark II version, which you can easily tell either by seeing a copy of the box and showing that it runs on Windows 8, or just look at the front of the box. And if it has a window in it, that is version one. You don't want that, you want Mark II. Also, make sure you get the CD with the drivers on it for both PC and Mac, because the drivers apparently found on the web do not work right. I don't know why, but I was not able to get it to work right with those drivers off their website. However, the drivers on the CD worked fine. Now, of course, you don't have to use an external USB-based capture card. If you want to use your desktop computer, you could always use an internal card if you have a slot available. Those cards are just as inexpensive as their external counterparts, about $10 to $20, and they are all over eBay. So do your homework and figure out which one's going to work best with your system. Now, if your camera is more modern and doesn't have a composite output, you can still use your HDMI out. You'll just need an HDMI capture card to grab that signal. The benefits are that you'll be able to see higher resolution in a sharper image, which is more representative of what you're actually shooting, versus the scaled-down SD version. The bad news is you're going to be paying more money. Those cards will start at $50 to $60 versus $10 to $20 for the old SD models. And that's my tip on how to turn any computer into an external monitor. If you like this video, please come to thefrugalfilmmaker.com for other videos about DIY filmmaking. And thanks for watching.